Hi everyone, and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna show my new project, in which, AI learns to play Gorilla's game. If you're as old as me, you should remember this classic game, written in BASIC. In this new version, instead of humans, two AI bots play the game, using supervised machine learning algorithms. This video is just a quick preview, of the final product. So, if you wanted to see the complete process of teaching gorillas, how to perform deadly banana shots, make sure to watch the rest of this video. And yes, we are going to make this game from scratch, starting from the next part of this supervised learning tutorial series. So keep watching. Okay, let's move on. So, the main goal of this project, was to create artificial intelligence, that can successfully score, more than 80% of shots. I mean, any score above 80 hits out of 100 shots, should be a great achievement. So, I used machine learning to implement artificial intelligence. More specifically, I used supervised learning algorithms, with polynomial regression. But first, I had to make the original game, with complete functionality. And here is a short demo. This is a fully playable game prototype. The players define the shooting parameters with the mouse. And this is a completed game, with added graphics and animations. You can play it on my official website. Now, the game is ready to start implementing machine learning. As usual, the first step here, is to create a neural network model, that will replace player controls. More details on this in the next video. For now, just to say, that our model has 3 inputs, 16 hidden nodes, and 2 outputs. The inputs are, view angle of the first gorilla, view angle of the second gorilla, and the distance between both gorillas. The outputs are, the power, and the angle of the shot. So, let's take a look at how gorillas use their new brains. It looks like the gorillas still don't know, how to use their artificial brains. In fact, they're totally awful shooters. At least, they already know something, it's better to launch bananas at the enemy, than to eat them. Well, as we have seen, the gorillas are pretty stupid. This is because, they have learned absolutely nothing so far. To teach them, how to use an effective banana throwing technique, we need data. Lots of data. I mean, as more data we have, the bigger is our knowledge base. In this case, we need a data set of the most efficient shots, for different gorilla positions, on different building configurations. Furthermore, each shot is defined with its initial power, and angle. The question is, how to get these parameters? Well, we can use the brute force method, to generate all possible banana trajectories, for some random level configuration. Then, we just need to select the best trajectory, and that should be the middle one. So, let's collect data. Okay, it's enough. Let's make a time jump of 20-30 minutes into the future. Now, we should have a nice data set, consisted of 100,000 data records. That means, we are ready to train the neural network using this data. To fit the model, I used a polynomial regression, which is one of the simplest supervised machine learning algorithms. This figure shows, a simple polynomial regression model example. With that, it's time to train the model. After 10 seconds, and only one training iteration, the model loss value is quite low. That means, our neural network is already trained. So, we can use it now, to predict the angle and power of the shots. With that, it's time to see, if the gorillas can achieve the main goal, and successfully score more than 80 out of 100 shots. So, let's run the full game. Oh no, this gorilla has already missed one shot. I'm a dead man, if he misses one more time. It looks too good, to be true. After 10 shots, the left gorilla has scored 100% of the first shots, and the right gorilla has scored 90%. I hope, they will keep their scores over 80% after 100 shots. We will check that soon. So keep watching. 
Now, let's go 4 times faster, to check the score after 100 shots as soon as possible. Just keep watching, because there is a bonus part also. After 25 shots, both gorillas are still over 90%. I hope they manage to keep that precision. The first half of the game is over, and both gorillas are still over 90%. We can now expect a happy ending of this story, but let's be patient a little more. Here are 75 shots already. Well, there were some misses, but the score for both gorillas, are still above the desired 80%. It's just a little bit to the end, so let's support the gorillas to keep this score. And don't forget the bonus part. Oh yeah, they did it! Congratulations! So, both gorillas won the challenge, scoring more than 80 out of 100 shots. Even more, the left gorilla has scored 86% of the first shots, and the right gorilla has scored 87%. I think, this is a pretty good score, for artificial intelligence based on polynomial regression. So, I can happily conclude, that this machine learning project, has passed the acceptance test. Before we end this video, here is a bonus part. As you could see in the introductory section, this game has a nice feature, it can be played with monkeys of different sizes. So, let's introduce the fighters. The smallest fighter is Bonobo, also called Dwarf Chimpanzee. Something bigger is Classic Gorilla, the largest living primate. The next one is Gigantopithecus, an ape from the early to middle Pleistocene. And the biggest fighter is King Kong of course, a gigantic prehistoric ape, unfortunately died after falling from a skyscraper, after being attacked by airplanes with guns. Considering the size, it is obvious that Bonobo is the hardest target, and King Kong is the easiest target. So, the fight between King Kong and the Bonobo should be unfair, in favor of the smaller Bonobo. Let's watch the fight. No luck today for King Kong. But maybe 50-60% of hits is not so bad, considering how small the bonobo is. Well, as we have seen, King Kong had absolutely no chance to defeat the bonobo. And now, let's enjoy in the fight between two King Kongs. Well, it's obvious now, that King Kong is the easiest target, because of his gigantic size. All his opponents are almost infallible, with a score around 100%. So, if you found this video interesting, please like it, and consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. I would greatly appreciate it. And that way, you don't miss out on more actionable videos like this one. Just click on the subscribe button below this video. Now, let me know what you think about this project. For instance, did you find this supervised learning tutorial useful? Or, if there is something that you don't like, please tell me. Are you gonna start making your own machine learning game tutorial, after watching this video? Or, you just wanna order this great book? Please let me know, by leaving a comment below, right now. See you in my next video.